time. So probably just learning systems, um, you know, coming in and each team I've been to have a total different system, um, you know, different roles um, from, you know, obviously Miami being a, you know, number one option, a lot of nice, number two when Chris was playing some time. In Chicago, varying in here, coming off the bench. So a lot of different things, but um, you know, many different challenges um, in the last few years. But overall, it's just a part of the body of work of my career. So um, it's been good. When you're running a break with LeBron, are there times you almost feel like you're both back in heat uniforms when you sort of have that chemistry and that eye lock going like you did for those four years? But that, that chemistry is there. Mm -hmm. um, this has always been before we played together in Miami, when we just played together a little bit in all-star games or Olympics, et cetera. It's just there. So, um, you know, I definitely enjoy that. Um, it's not the same as Miami. We're not on the court together <laughs> as much. Um, but it's fun. You know, it's one thing is, you know, having a, a guy that you know is going to push you, um, you know, past your limits. Um, a guy that you know is a winner. You know what he's going to do in certain moments and, and vice versa. It really helps the team. So you live one place for 13 years and think it's just going to be that way. You're settled in your house, you know the streets, you know how to get to one place and another. How different is this than what you envisioned your career playing out over your mid 30s, late 30s? Uh, it's different, you know. Um, you know, obviously you don't know what's going to happen in life from day to day. Um, and then this, you know, this um, this career path that we all chose in the NBA. Um, you just don't you don't know what's gonna happen. For me, um, you know, I'm, I'm I'm okay and I'm content with what, what I've done, what I did for 13 years. Uh, that I think was gonna shake out this way. No, but I'm not sitting there, I'm not sitting there crying about it either. Um, I understand that that's the way things go, um, and decisions I made, and I made decisions. So um, you know, it's fine. You know, I, I look back on my 13 years. And I look back and say, man, we really did some special, special things, and uh, it's an amazing chapter in my life. And Big part of, uh, of who I have become and who I am. So um, I don't, I don't, I don't look back at nothing but the good times. I really don't think about the balance. Are you comfortable if it goes year to year, Dwayne? Which at this point in your career it could go year yeah, to year. Yeah, you know? I mean I, that's the way I approach it. Anyway, you know I approach it year to year. Even if I'm on the contract for two years, like you know I, I approach it year to year because you know as, I, as me and your daughters both talked about for many years, is um, you know you, you know, and I think we got it from Ray Allen uh, from the standpoint of not knowing when. That time is going to come for you. Don't don't have a perceived notion of oh, I'm going to retire at this age. I'm retiring this year. Play the game. Um, you know, after the season, after the year, you know, see how you feel. Um, you know, and, and see what you know, see what you want to do the following year. Speaking of Ray, he, he had some comments lately that uh, that you know ruffled some feathers in Miami about. I know you, I'm sure you saw them about the uh, the last year. The Heat didn't adjust uh, to, to older players got worn down with practices and shoot arounds. Did you, what was your reaction when you saw that and do you agree with what Ray said? Uh, Miami is Miami. They do it the, the way that Miami does it. Uh, you know, obviously Ray came from Boston and, uh, you know, Doc did things a little differently for, you know, him and KG and those guys. Miami is done the way that it's done. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, you know, no matter what happened in those years, Went to the finals four years in a row. Mm -hmm. We won two championships, one with Ray. We won two championships. So, um, you know, that's just a part of the culture in Miami, and you got to know that if you're going there. Did you feel there was too many practices, too many? Did you feel they wore you down? I, I feel like they got the best out of me, okay. you know, and as you play this game, you get the best out of yourself. And um, that's what I felt. You know, like I said, I live all my 13 years, at, you know, in Miami, I leave. Um, you know, satisfied with what I accomplish and what my teams accomplish and my teammates accomplish. So if we worked hard to do that. We worked too hard to do that. Um, I'm fine with it because we win it with success. Um, and that's the only that's the only thing that we got to talk about when we get done playing this game. We got to talk about you know the, the playoff series we was in, the championships we was in, the locker rooms, and all these things. So uh, get it all out of me because one day I ain't gonna ever play basketball ever again. <laughs> Thanks.